So guys, Tesla is working on something big, something that will be the backbone of the upcoming Model 2 and the RoboTaxi combined. We all know by now that with EVs, the biggest major complaint that comes up over and over again is the battery's performance. The three most critical component here that is the deciding factor between if an average person is going to buy a gasoline car or an electric car is how far you can go on a full charge when you drive your electric vehicle. Now, it's not as simple as saying you can go an entire 300 EPA estimated miles because this is not entirely true. You do have to account for your HVAC running, you do have to account for the weather and the climate, and you do have to account for that threshold around 20 to 80 percent. The next biggest thing on the list would be how long it takes to fully charge your vehicle. Now this has come up over and over again within my own family saying that it takes forever to charge your vehicle regardless of if it's Electrify Canada or America or if this is just just your supercharger for Tesla owners. It does take substantially longer than just simply hitting a gas station and get it done within five minutes. This is something that we need to really get on par. And then the last thing here that has been circulating around the web is the lifespan of each battery pack. How long you can get your charged battery pack until it starts to degrade to a point where it is unusable. There will be a point where you consider 100 miles remaining on your pack's life is just unusable even though 100 miles is still 100 miles, but that is just ultimately not usable on your day-to-day -day commute. So this is something that you do have to consider with batteries as long as we are with the current technology. So now over the years, battery manufacturers and EV companies have been pushing hard to get the most range and most lifespan out of a single pack. Now it's getting to the point where it is on par with a lot of gasoline vehicles. There are now officially EVs that can do 400 to 500 miles on a full charge. And this is mind blowing because there are gasoline vehicles out there that are extremely efficient that does not even hit this number. And then added to all that, they really wanted to push for the additional lifespan of each pack, meaning now with the introduction of LFP technology, they are now able to increase it by the three to four times longer than what they had with the NMCs. So ultimately, what it means is that once EVs have completely transitioned and removed all the negative sides of the LFP packs, they will be able to give you a product that would last years years to come with range exceeding that of gasoline vehicles. All right, so being where we are today, that ultimately checks off two of the things on the list where it competes with other gasoline vehicles. EVs can go extremely long on a single charge as long as they are fitted with the correct capacity. And now batteries can essentially last the entire lifespan of your car if you're not one to keep your cars for more than 50 years, that is. All in all, all this can be achieved with the current technology that we have right now, but there are are a few aspects to it that we really have to consider. Keeping in mind, financials and margins really come into play for EV manufacturers as well as battery manufacturers. This is where they can push out as much capacity as they want, but as long as they're profiting off of each one. So realistically, a balance between profitability and efficiency is what we are after, and it seems Tesla has cracked that with the recent introduction of the Tesla Model Y rear wheel drive long ring that I have talked about in the previous previous video. If you want to know more about that and where you can pick it up right now, definitely go check out my previous video. I'll drop that in the description below. Now, the final thing on the list here, and it seems like no EV manufacturers have cracked the codes just yet, is the fact that you have to sit at a charger for a very long time to get your car charged from 0 to 100%. This honestly is the biggest reason why a lot of people are still considering gasoline and hybrid vehicles over fully electric is because you don't want to be sitting at the long charging station for longer stops when you are on an extremely long road trip. Now how long you consider long is very subjective but in my opinion it takes very fast around 5 minutes or less to pump up your car from 0 to 100 versus sitting at a charging station station at least 30 minutes to get the same amount of energy. Of course, there is the added benefit of having your car be able to charge at home at your own convenience, but in terms of road trips and in terms of those quick runs that you really need your car charged as quickly as possible, this is where you're not going to be able to do it with an EV. And of course, this number is further exaggerated when you go on long road trips. This is where you're going to see the most of the effects when you are charging constantly for 45 minutes each and every single time for 20 to 30 different stops, 
added all this, you are going to add an additional few hours to your overall drive versus simple five minute stops at a Costco station. So to keep things simple and brutally honest here, no matter how fast your EV charges today, it is still slower than the slowest car is able to pump gas. And really until that point matches, it is very hard to convince somebody that is so used to driving a gasoline car and just filling up within five minutes to ask them to sit at a supercharger for more than 30 to 45 minutes. But now some really excellent news. Cathel and Tesla is now working together on a partnership that will be creating new battery technologies that will overcome a lot of these issues with charging and be able to give you the fastest charges possible now matching those filling up gas cars. According to the latest report, chairman of Cathel, Robin Zhang, has confirmed during an interview that they are now working with Tesla on newer battery technologies for their upcoming vehicles. This is likely going to be the Model 2 and the Robo Taxi that Tesla has been planning for the last decade and now they are going to be getting newer battery technology that we've never seen in any models yet. Specifically during this interview they have mentioned that the partnership will be working on electrochemical structures that will be able to produce such fast charging rates to these batteries that will be really competitive to anything out there in the gasoline world. What's interesting about this partnership is that Cathel will be supplying the machinery to build these newer batteries and they will be built at the Tesla Nevada factory. In addition to this, just last month, Tesla had talked about plans to expand the battery production at Giga Nevada at a site just nearby what they have right now. At the beginning stages of this transition, they will be using the idle cathode equipment that they've received earlier in the month and years. This is going to be the first stepping stone as to what they were going to be doing with the upcoming partnership and eventually incorporate the newer supply that Catho is going to be giving them. Now we briefly went over this partnership and what we can be expecting in this new battery technology in my previous video. If you want to check that out, I will have a link right in the description below and up top there, but you are going to be seeing some very incredible ranges and some very incredible charging speeds from this new technology. So really, outside of the AI and the full self-driving space, there is a lot of advancement inside of the battery technology department and within a couple months we are going to be seeing some very incredible technology in this space and you're going to be seeing very insane range coming out of these battery packs. There will honestly be no reason left to not switch over from a gasoline vehicle over to purely electric just because it fits every single department. It's quicker, it's faster, it's safer and charging is now on par with gasoline. So of course I will always be keeping an eye on all of this as closely as possible and we'll be updating you as soon as I hear anything so make sure you stick around to this channel and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't done so already and there's a lot going on Twitter as well so hit me up there at hey John E you guys can chat with me and DM with me any single time I'll try to respond as quickly as possible anyways this should wrap it up for this video I will see you in the next one this is John once again peace out